Hi, it's Sarah from Empowered Mothers Network and today I'm talking about how to get started with two in cloth nappies. So it might be that you've got twins or it might be that you've got children like me, close in age, really close together and you want to have both of them in reusable nappies. Um, there are a couple of different reasons as well why you might be going to reusable nappies. It might be that if you have got a slightly older child that they've been using reusable ones um, and you want to get the next child in reusables too or it might be that you have been using disposables and for whatever reason you want to make the switch to reusables so I think a lot of you know the same stuff applies to getting started in cloth nappies with two children as it would with one but these are just a few of my tips that I found over this. So I think my first tip when you are right at the beginning is work out where you want to start with reusables. So, I mean, are you going to start using reusables from birth um, with either one or two children? Or are you planning to transition into them? I decided I didn't want to use reusable right from birth I think but there was a there was only a couple of weeks where she was in sort of disposables for the first couple of weeks mainly because I was so exhausted and that transition period of getting used to having two young children so for me I wanted to give myself a few weeks or maybe even a month's grace before the whole system of washable nappies so it's not a massive time drain with washable nappies but there is a certain amount of time to it I think maintaining and washing and drying and putting away and things like that and in those really early weeks I just for me personally it was just a bit easier to just grab a disposable and use that and just save what little energy I had at the time into trying to get recovered and then once I got a little bit more back on my feet and then I kind of started up with the um, reusable nappies for both of them so yeah first things first is work out where about you want to get started with reusables so you might find that um, you want to do what I did which was buy like a big kit of nappies and like a, a birth to potty training kit which will see you through the whole thing. Um, and that kit, you can add a little bit to it as you go, and that will see you through for two children. Well, just about in my case, some of the nappies I'm just getting to replace now because they are tired. <laughs> so I've had to replace a couple in the last few weeks. In terms of telling you what brand of nappy to use and what sizes and things like that, is, it's so individual to the children. Um, so what I would recommend is if you have like a local nappy library locally um, and often they can run in like conjunction with things like sling libraries if you've got one of them locally just try and find out if you've got a reusable nappy one a lot of places have them now and you can go and get like free advice for your particular situation and your children and find out which nappies are kind of going to be best for you to try out and that's really great as well in terms of trying trying some before you invest the money is obviously the upfront cost with reusable nappies is significantly greater than going out and buying a pack of disposables every week but over the long term you know you are saving quite a bit of money but it's nice to be able to have had an idea of which which nappies which reusable nappies are right for you before you invest in a massive kit so two in cloth obviously there is going to be uh, more washing. So I found when I had one child in cloth nappies, I could get away with doing a wash every other day, just um, especially if she got a little bit older, sort of past the age of uh, nine months or so. Was, but by the time I had two full time in reusable nappies, it's definitely an everyday wash. So also another thing to think about when you are having two sets of nappies so um where are you going to dry them so for me i'm lucky well i say lucky i've got a raven which costs a fortune to run but it is always warm so my nappies there is permanently in our kitchen a little section of the kitchen where 
there is permanently an area in front of the raven and there are permanently nappies drying on it all the time so more in washing and drying um when you get the nappies that you're going to use check the washing instructions on them so some of them i think do say that you can wash up to 40 and i think some 60 you've got these um i'll show you mine so i've got the top spots um these are the easy fit stars so they've got this like kind of waterproof layer inside but these ones are okay up to 60 um i know there are some pants that say up to 40 like i've just bought a few pairs of like trainer pants for my eldest for potty training and they say wash at 40 um but i wash my nappies at 60 now that's because i've got two in cloth i tend to go for 60 i used to wash at 40 when i just had one child unless she had like an upset stomach or she was teething or something like that um but now i've got two i wash at 60 because you are having two different people's nappies in your washing machine and it's two sets of germs um washing powder wise obviously you can't use uh, fabric conditioner on them um because that affects the absorbency so no fabric conditioner i have ended up using fairy non-bio because that works for them um one of mine had eczema quite bad and that was the only thing that didn't flare it up actually um and i also have uh, nappy sand usually in every wash i also tried the, there's a if you're looking for slightly environmentally friendly version there is the bio d version with the bio d um nappy soak which is basically nappy sand but it's by bio d other little considerations to maybe think about which aren't again not massive things but are just nice to kind of be aware of is that um if you have if you not have twins so you've got two of different ages in cloth you'll get that point where one will be in a smaller size than the other now if you've got like i've got you've got this sort of birth to potty again i'll show you on these ones you have these um poppers so basically when my youngest started out on them you know the popper was on this setting here to make it the shortest so the nappy is smaller um so when we started out i obviously had one who was already in full size you know poppers down um and a almost newborn in the small ones so what i did was before my second was born i had this birth to potty kit i added a few more nappies into the kit because i just needed to work out that i had enough for both of them um and then i ended up sort of poppering up uh, like about half of them um, and i had to kind of keep them in separate piles so you know every time there was a nappy change i had the poppered up ones ready to go for the baby and the unpoppered up ones for the toddler so I'm just going to show you a little bit about what I personally use as well. And again, I don't necessarily recommend this particular set for everyone because there are so many different options. But this is just an idea of what I personally use. With. So I'll just show you what I use. And um, another tip, definitely even more so because you've got two in cloth rather than one, is make sure you invest in the kit as much as you can so because you're going to have <coughs> excuse me because you're going to have double the amount of dirty nappies every day it's really good to get uh, a bucket so this is my top spots bucket okay so this one has a lockable lid and again it stops the toddler getting in so this was great when it was great when i had a baby that was changing and a toddler wandering around and she can't get in the bucket but a lockable bucket is very good as well for the plethora of smells. Again, it depends on what type of nappies you get, I think, um, to whether you can soak them. Um, I dry pale mine so that I don't soak them before they go in the washing machine. Next, as well as the bucket, get a laundry bag. Okay, so then you can just put this. These are again are the top spots ones, so they just fit 
pop properly in the bucket and then at the end of the day when the bucket is overflowing I can just pull out the laundry sack and get it straight in the washing machine and I don't have to mess about pulling them all out because as well we use reusable baby wipes so if you're going on this journey of reusable nappies for two you know go the whole hog <laughs> don't just do it by half do it do it the whole hog get some reusable wipes because i may as well you know i'm already doing a load of washing every day so i may as well add wipes to it and i was using a ton of baby wipes i was really going through them and i found that using reusable wipes I just find them so much easier for cleaning up poos. Like I find that normal baby wipes just smear the poo around. Whereas these ones, you know, a couple of wipes and it's gone. It just goes away. So again, there are different places now. I think there are more and more places now selling reusable baby wipes because it, they, I was going to say exploding, exploding in popularity. Um, now these ones are from Cheeky Wipes because I got the little starter kit. So again, I've got a box which I can make up, put a bit of water in. And then I tried essential oils. Um, at the moment, I'm just using a little bit of baby bath um, in some water. And that's what I used to put in my wipes. And then they look like um, terry toweling nappies that I used to wear back in the 80s, which I now use to like clean my glass with. My mum kept them. So these are like little cuffs and these are just great. So do consider um, reusable wipes if you are doing reusable nappies as well. Keep saving the environment. They're great for poos, they're fab. And you can get wet bags as well. So you can put a few in a wet bag and take them out and about. Um, always make sure if you are out and about in reusable nappies, not personally your kids, um, always make sure you've got a wet bag. Okay, that's really useful to have a wet bag to put your nappies in, especially when they've done a poo on the go. Um, so we have, yeah, this is just basically my nappy setup right now. I'm using Top Spots Easy Fit Star because I got a birth to potty kit. Um, I also use the Bamboozle Stretch rat, uh, little stretch nappies um, at night time, and I've used them as early as I could for night time. Now, these on their own are fine. In the early days, I of course there is the liners, so you can have the disposable liners, but I stopped using those because we found that actually I think they said that they, they are flushable, they're advertised as flushable liners, but I was flushing them and this was with one child and not very long with two, because I didn't use them every nappy anyway, I only used them maybe once or twice a day tops and they ended up blocking the drains we found a wadge of them when it came to unblocking the drains once so they are flushable but they, i think they take a long time to uh, biodegrade so it's an option but i wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you want to go and blocking your drains at some point i found these these are the fleece ones you can get fleece liners and they do the job for me um you know they, they they stop poo staining the nappy things like that you can also use these ones when you put nappy cream on and it will stop the nappy cream getting onto the nappy and ruining the absorbency and they work and if you're running a bit low on them like i was i just bought like a big sheet of fleecy fabric and um, cut some more out now they got a bit bigger i use these booster pads as well um, I think I get these ones off Amazon. Um, they're just generic ones. They're not top spots ones. So overall, I wouldn't say um, getting started with two in cloth is overly any more difficult than getting started with one. I think as long as you know you're prepared that there's going to be a lot of washing cycles um, and a certain amount of drying nappies everywhere in your home um, and it doesn't take too long really to put them away and certainly not any longer than it would with one so I would say definitely if you've already got one in um, washables then you know going to twos not really any more difficult um, 
of course, another option that might suit you and your lifestyle is um, kind of doing a mix. So, you know, having the washables some of the time and then occasionally using disposables. And as my girls have got older, that's something we have sort of moved into a bit. So, you know, now they both go part time to childcare. They often have disposables there. I provide disposables and washables depending on um what the staff want to use and then sometimes at home you know we're on the go quickly i need to just grab a nappy or you know maybe sometimes we've done a lot of washing and nappies and they're not dry you know some sometimes life gets in the way and inevitably the washing will get backlogged and you will find you've not got any clean or most likely you've not got any dry yet um, so yeah i'd love to hear from anybody else out there who has two in cloth as well um give me a shout and if you have any more questions or experiences of your own, then please leave them in the comments because I would love to know that I'm not the only one out there. I'm the only one that I know, like personally in my life um, around here, who has two in cloth, I think, as far as I know. Um, so if there are any others out there, hello. <laughs> um, otherwise, I will see you soon for another video from Empowered Mothers Network.